Blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure DSCP relay agent on a Cisco router. So what's a DSCP relay agent? Well, our DSCP server may be located far away from our local area network. Okay. So for the local area network uh, endpoints or end devices to get IP addresses, then they must find a way to go to this, this DSCP server. And that way is what now we are going to do. We are going to learn how to do it. DSCP relay agent. So before we can proceed, I will open our Google spreadsheet and let you know that today we are in number 8, part 1, DSCP relay agent on route. Okay. How to configure DSCP relay agent on a Cisco route. It's very, very simple. We want these host devices to get IP addresses from this DSCP server. Remember, it's far, far away. Maybe, let's say, there were some three other routers in between this router and the, the server here. So, we must make these computers here access or get IP address from this server. And that's why we have to configure DSCP relay agent on this router. So that any DSCP request from this IP from these computers will be forwarded to this server here. DCP relay agent has to forward any DCP discover message from these computers to this one. So whenever this server receives a request from these uh, hosts, it will send the response and the response will be in terms of IP parameters. Okay. So I have related steps that we're going to follow to achieve this objective. So I'll open the steps. Number one, draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So before you draw, make sure you use 2911 router and the server PT and the 26, 2960 switch. Computers will remain the same. And as you can see, a gig00 is connecting, gig00 of the router is connecting to the switch here gig01 of the router is connecting dcp server here. okay all right so let's go to step two and uh, you see the comments this is the dcp server then the network between the router and the dcp server is this one and the network between the router and the lan is this one right okay so step two um configure ip to the router as interfaces and static ip address to the server all right so we're going to configure IP address to this interface, this interface, and this server here. And remember, IP address of this interface, gig00, will act as the default gateway of this LAN here. Okay? Very simple. IP address of gig01, which is this one, will act as the default gateway of this DSCP server. So without any further ado, let's begin. I click on the router, click to CLI, and I put it somewhere here, and I say no. Enable, uh, config T. All right, so let's start with gig00. So interface gig0 slash 0. You can see it's right, meaning it's shut in, it in shutdown uh, state by default. So turn it up, turn it up, just say no, shut. And that's all. Okay, and we'll send it IP address. Which IP address in this network? So we just say IP. 192.168.10.1 let let it take the first usable ip address in this range okay which is 10.1 with a separate mask of 255.255.255.0 and hit enter we exit let's go to gig01 so interface gig01 okay let's turn it up just say no shut Okay, and we are sending the IP address of 20.1. Okay, the first usable uh, IP address. And we hit enter, we exit. Then the step goes ahead to say that we need to configure uh, static IP address to the server. 
So the server should have a static IP address. So I go to the server. I come to desktop, IP configuration, and we issue 102.168.20 because of this network. Okay, okay. 20. Dot, mm, let's say dot five. The server takes dot five. Okay. And the default gateway is the IP address of this interface, which was 20.1. Okay. 20.1. DNS server, I want this server to be its own DNS server, okay? So let's say IP before is equivalent to DNS server of this DSCP server, okay? Alright, so what I do, I close. That's all. So let's move to step two. On the DSCP server device here, create DSCP pools, subnet mask, number of usable IP addresses, default gateway, and DNS. So guys, we want to create a pool for this LAN here okay all right so we just click on the dcp server we come to services um we come to dcp and the first thing that you always you should always do is to enable the service as enabling the as, as after enabling the service make sure that all of these things all of them all of them are zero 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 so just do it zero very very fast to save time okay Make sure it's 000 to uh, prevent uh, allocation of unnecessary addresses to our pools, okay? Zero. Make sure it's 000 and just click save, okay? All right. After clicking save, when we now create a new pool, let's say this is our IT department. So what you do, you just try to edit this one, okay? You edit it, but you don't save, we will hard, okay? We just try to edit it, say IT pool. Okay, IT debt pool, IT department pool. Okay, and default gateway, default gateway in here should be default gateway of IT department pool should be the IP address of this interface, which was 102.168.10.1. Do you remember that? Yeah, don't forget a pool with a default gateway. If you don't give a default gateway, it will never work. A DNS server, we said that our DNS server should remain the IP address of DCP server, okay? Alright, so we want the um, we want the DCP server to start giving this pool IP addresses like 102, that's, that's 168, uh, 10 in this network, okay? Let's say we want it to give from dot 11 or let's just, let's just say dot 25. Uh, dot 21 okay because let's say we want to reserve ip address from 10.1 to 10.20 maybe it will send some other devices which need static ip address allocation for example printers other servers in the network right so we want it to start giving ip address from dot 21 okay and the subject mask is very very important 255 255 255 and zero okay and finally don't forget this part maximum number of users how many users do you do we want here let's say there are only 200 users in our it department okay all right okay so after editing that pool make sure you add don't click save just just make sure you add okay click on add and now our it department pool is here that's all that's all very simple i go back to our notepad and number four now on the router interface connecting the lan configure it to relay dcp messages to the dcp server on the router uh, interface connecting our lan here configure it to relay any dcp discover message to this server here so whenever this interface receives a request, a request that uh, the content of the request says that I want IP address. And who wants the IP address? These hosts. So whenever this host wants IP address, they will request their default gateway. So their default gateway is this guy here, gig 0 So gig 0 will say, oh, I'm not the DCP server, but I know a guy who can give us IPs. So if the guy here, I mean this guy here, will forward that request to this guy. 
so it's this guy that will send the parameters to this guy and this guy distributes among this gentleman here okay all right so let's go here so we just say interface gig 00, zero. configure dcp relay agent on this interface so just hit enter and what do we do we just write a very simple command we just say ip ip helper address helper address that's all and you write ip address of the dcp server and just paste ip helper address whenever host needs ip address this guy will help us and i just hit enter exit and do right so let's go back to our notepad go to every pc and change the option to dcp so i go to every pc and do it very very fast to save time so if i can just hover over any pc let's start with the last one you can see it is picked 10.23 and here 10.22 here 10.21 and finally 10.24 only you can just click and come to a peak configuration and you see everything that uh, the appear address is this one third mask default gateway is the appear address of gig 00 okay and in a server as configured here under dscp configuration in the it department pool all right guys so i believe this video has really helped you now to configure ip dcp uh, I mean DCP relay agent on a Cisco router and it's very very important because in major in a major enterprise network project that we're going to do we have to use a uh, DCP relay agent so I'll go back to our notepad and let you know that we run part one so when you meet tomorrow we do part two and mark number eight as done thank you so much guys please subscribe to my channel like this video share with friends and drop a comment below. Bye and see you again in the next class. Thank you.